Thanks for checking out MMA Live Extra alongside Brett Okamoto. My name is Todd Grisham. We are at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We just witnessed the weigh-ins for UFC 182. I would say it was one of the most anticipated stare-downs in UFC history, but it wasn't really good at all, was it, between Jones and Cormier? Listen, I mean, the build-up to this fight finished well before today. You know, th this was the last stare-down. It had to culminate in something, but I think in the minds of John Jones, Daniel Cormier, what more can you do? You brawled in the lobby of the MGM Grand. Pretty much it's all downhill from there. So I think these two guys just didn't want to look at each other. They were told by the athletic commission, you can't touch each other, you can't shove each other, we'll fine you. So they just decided to do sort of a, a weird non-stare down, stare down. But there's still plenty of animosity. Dana White told me that back in the fighter meeting after the weigh-ins, they were screaming and shouting at each other. So these two men absolutely loathe each other, which brings me to this question, Brett. Do you think that Daniel Cormier is almost too emotional going into Saturday night's fight? Yeah, it's a fair question. I mean, he's going up against the guy who is considered the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. You want to have a clear head when you're doing that. But every guy is different. You got to find what works for you. And I would hope that Daniel Cormier, a two time Olympian, a, a collegiate wrestler at Oklahoma State University, by now he will have known, you know, what kind of mindset he needs to be in in a fight like this. I'm not too worried about it, but it is fair because there is a lot of emotion in this fight. He looked like a caged animal at times during the stare down. Before the stare down, he was walking around and Dana White had to basically push him away from John Jones as Jones was on the scale. Brett, that brings us to your pick. Who takes it tomorrow night? Do we have a new champion of the world? I don't think we have a new champion of the world. I have to pick John Jones. You know what? I'm not just picking him because he's John Jones. I got to pick somebody. This is a close fight. You know, I actually think that Jones will, will establish himself. He will be the better fighter. I think that the, the, the pressure is on Daniel Cormier to constantly move forward. And he can do that. He'll have spurts, but he won't be able to do it for the full 25 minute fight. I like John Jones to finish Daniel Cormier at some point in this championship fight. John Jones is a one and a half uh to one favorite right now, but several fighters in the UFC are picking Cormier. It seems like on a two to one basis. So really, it's anyone's fight tomorrow night. Let's talk about the co-main event. A lot of people just focusing in on Jones versus Cormier, but Miles Jury with a chance to really establish himself in the UFC. That's right, and he's facing the guy in Donald Cerrone who has been there. That is the big thing for me in this fight. It seems like Donald Cerrone is in a fight like this every month. You know, he he goes head kicks a guy and then he goes to President Dana White and says who am I fighting next month for jury this is a big opportunity for him it's his first co-main event on a UFC pay-per-view and I think that he is feeling that, that that pressure even if he's not really showing it outwardly that is a big spotlight to be under against a veteran like Donald Cerrone we'll see if jury can handle that on Saturday Cerrone four wins in 2014 Miles Jury has never suffered a defeat something's got to give <laughs> here tomorrow night for Brett Okamoto my name is Todd Grisham keep it tuned right here to ESPN.com for a complete post-fight analysis and interviews. We'll see you then.